The Foth Quilt Expression 720 has some amazing decorative stitches that are usually found on the top in Foth machines, but they have trickled down. And I wanna show you what floating stitches are. This is kind of a new thing. You'll find them in the Stitch Techniques area, 8.3. So here's how it is. They're gonna look like they're floating, but there is a little trick. Now on the Foth Stitching Cosmos quilt that I've been showing, these are floating stitches all on one piece of fabric. So I, I uh, folded the fabric, stitched it, and then opened it back up. And as I opened it, I went ahead and then cut my piece from it. So it does truly look like these stitches are floating because you don't see any of the connecting threads. So one of the ways that you can do this is you don't have to always be uh, floating them. You can actually use them to create a patchwork. So I'm going to go ahead, let's see here, let's pick um, some of these ones at the end are actually pretty simple. It does call, call for foot 1A, and that's with the IDT. So you can use these to actually stitch pieces together. So instead of a seam, you're actually using a decorative stitch. So I am going to use a little stabilizer because the, the stitches do actually need a little bit of something underneath it. I don't need a whole piece, but just since I have a piece close by, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Again, your start stop button can be a great way to quickly uh, stitch through these so you don't have to hold on to or put keep your foot on the foot control now I've placed two fabrics right sides together that's what I was going for here and then after we're done so I'm going to just push my scissors I'll finish that stitch lock it cut it do all that which is nice if you didn't remember that uh, those thread snips when pushed during the middle of a decorative stitch will finish the decorative stitch and end so this is what it's going to look like before we do anything to it but then we're going to take and we're going to tug we're going to pull this open and as you pull it open you get the seam because there is a straight stitch in between those you just don't see it when you open it up but you do see those decorative stitches so let's just do that one more time I've got another piece of fabric I can do right sides together again let's just pick I'll pick one of the other stitches this time uh, I am going to pick some of these quicker ones just for speed they do look really good uh, I love the fact that I could use variegated thread I could use any color and kind of give the little areas some pop touch the thread snips finish with some locking stitches cut lift the foot love that Okay, here it goes. That's what it looks before we pull it open. And this is what it looks like after I pull it open. So the stabilizer is tear away. I'd remove that when I'm done. But look, I could cut something from that. Um, I could cut my strip. So if I'm just kind of working my way along, I can continue and it doesn't matter actually that I'm kind of not even at the top and bottom of those strips, no big deal. But look how beautiful floating stitches are. Take a look at this a little bit closer. So when we did this one, what we did was we just took our fabric and with stabilizer underneath, because now I don't have anything to grab onto, put a little stabilizer underneath, do the stitch, and then you open it so it comes out flat. And that's the floating look that you get. Create your own type of fabric that nobody else has. This is one of a kind fabric, by the way. If you're interested in more things and learning more about our FOF Stitching Cosmos online course, where you too can learn lots of different things your machine will do, like here there's even pin tucks, bobbin work, <laughs> uh, bias binders. I mean, we do everything. Come take a look. There are 10 videos you can watch for free. Links are below this YouTube video, and maybe I'll see you in class soon.